Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm Tobias. It is 6:15 in the morning, and today we are in Chicago. So behind me, you see one of Chicago's most favorite landmarks called the Sky Cloud, which is a giant mirrored bean sculpture, and it's just one of the many cool places that Chicago has to offer. So yesterday, we already went on a short road trip and checked out two state parks surrounding Chicago. And today, we're going to check out the city itself with all of its magnificent architecture and historic buildings. But before we start, of course, we have to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. The picnic cloth that I bought in Tokyo goes to my aunt Melanie. Congratulations! I love you very much, and I hope to get this present to you in person really, really soon. So let's go check out what we did here in Chicago. That right here is the Chicago Field Museum. And I went in last year and they have the biggest, most well-preserved T-Rex fossil in there. So if you have two to three hours to spare and you like natural history, that is definitely worth your time in there. This is Buckingham Fountain right here or as it's known for my generation, the Al Bundy Fountain. <laughs> it's so much more impressive when the water is running. I don't know why it's not operational today, but maybe later. Magic! Best place in Chicago to make you dizzy. Now we're up on the Hancock building and it has a 360 view all around the city. I just purchased a special ticket for an attraction that's called Tilt. So you can lean into the glass facade of the tower 
and tilt forward so you can look straight down. So over there, that's the Navy Pier with the first Ferris wheel in the world if I'm not mistaken and yesterday they had a giant firework going on there. I don't know what the occasion was, but it was beautiful. They call it the Magnificent Mile for a reason. How beautiful is that? So a couple of years ago, uh, the city of Chicago introduced a law that gave every citizen of the city access to the river. So they built all of these sideways right next to it and now you can jog or ride your bike right next to the water. And that wraps up all the time that we have here in Chicago. I hope you liked it. As always, if you did, hit that like button. If you want to be part of the small community, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to win next week's giveaway, which you should see right here, all you have to do is make a recommendation of what you would like me to check out at the next destination, which will be Vancouver. So go ahead, go nuts in the comments, and I see you next week.